Hi, this is Matt from the Dirty Lab Coat, and today we're going to be measuring growth rate as well as watching nitrogen be removed from a system. This is a great little lab to do. Uh, it'll take about a week, and uh, it's going to be really good for, say, freshman, sophomore. If you have some advanced middle schoolers, that'll be really cool too. Okay, so the first thing you're going to do is uh, make down your algae culture, start culturing your algae. Those are in other, other uh, labs that we do. So um, we've all talked about this before. The sashi stick is the key to measuring biomass change. And again, all you want to do there is just every day or even three times a day. If you measure in good light uh, at 8 a.m., 11, and 2, you're going to see changes in the sashi disc depth that you can actually quantify. Um, with that, you can create a really great plot where you've got time and biomass. That's new biomass being formed. But here's the part, same plot, but now we're adding in, there's your biomass change. Now, if we add in the use of something really simple like this, this is a nitrate test strip. All you have to do with this is dip it into the liquid and then pull it out and let the, um, uh, uh, you'll see a colorimetric change. These are brown and I think they might be old but you'll want to do a color, you'll check uh, the color change on the chart on the uh, uh, on the nitrate test strip. So based on that color change, every day you can do those tests and you'll watch the nitrate concentration drop. Great for a chemistry class if you're going to be able to tie in chemistry to biology and then you're going to be able to plot the whole thing. So it's really powerful across a number of different levels. Um, that's great. Uh, that's it. This is Matt from the Dirty Lab Coat signing off.